Hi, this is Corona Quarantine Concerts number 13. Today we're in my kitchen. I'm going to play a very important piece for you by John Cage, which I arranged for solo violin all by myself. First, let's talk about the art that's behind me. We're going to start with some close-ups. Okay, this right here is an etching by Edgar Degas. He was in all the Impressionist exhibits, very, very important artist. It's a dancer putting on her shoes. It's from approximately 1892. It's what's called a restrike etching. Do you see those X's? Degas, every single time an etching had its printing, he struck through it with X's so that it wouldn't be reprinted. Well, this obviously got reprinted nonetheless. Here we have a watercolor by San Francisco artist Paul Gibson. It's from 1991. It's called Passant Jazz. He painted that of a pianist at a jazz club in San Francisco. This here is also by Paul Gibson. He drew this sketch while watching me perform at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music and the Marilla Opera Company. That's me right there playing the violin. And I found a really cool 19th century frame to put it in. Up here we have a colored etching, probably by Salvador Dali. I bought it from a gallery in Italy. Um, it's also possibly not by Salvador Dali. There are many, 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 many fakes of Dali etchings and lithographs. And towards the end of his life, he signed thousands of blank pieces of paper that then got printed on later. So this could be one of those. In case you're wondering, there's a bug coming out of inside of her. Pretty gross. Here is an etching by Picasso with a whole lot of glare. He signed it in pencil and he signed it in the plate. Bought this from an auction house here in Oakland, Clark's Auction Gallery. Here's a very special photo by Ansel Adams. It is the only one of its kind. Uh, this was auctioned off at Clark's in Oakland along with 107 other photos that had never been seen before. These were found in a box in the attic of Elmer Aldrich, who was a close friend of Ansel Adams. They were both on the board of the Sierra Club. And after he died, his heirs found this box and they've been positively authenticated and they have Ansel Adams stamp on the back. Uh, this is called In the Owens Valley. Down here, we have an old program or poster of Fritz Kreisler, probably about 1940. Over here, we got an old photo of the San Francisco Symphony from 1946. I found this at an antique store. The conductor is Pierre Monteux. The soloist is a young Isaac Stern. And the concertmaster is Naum Blinder. And the piece de resistance is right here. This is a cartoon of me that I commissioned from my friend Mark Stivers. It's a tribute to my gluttony. Okay, and now for the performance. I'll place you down here very gently. So this piece is originally written for piano by the composer John Cage, and I have transcribed it for solo violin, and this is the world premiere of this very important transcription. 